Hello everyone, and welcome to the next mission of our Operation Barbarossa campaign in Steel Fury Kharkov 1942. So, today's mission, we have this defensive position up ahead and we are ordered to reinforce that position because from the south and from the southwest, Soviet troops are trying to retreat northwards and we want to stop them and keep them nice and encircled where we can deal with them piecemeal. I don't know what kind of enemy will be attacking. I know that I have some air support. The Luftwaffe is here. Stukas. Now, they will actually tell me where the enemy is. Because they will attack the enemy and I will then know and see exactly where they are coming from which will be a great advantage, so I'm stopping right now until I know where the enemy is coming from. Actually, I can see something over there. There's a tank moving. I can't tell what kind of tank it is though. So I am holding here for the moment. Uh, there's, there's another tank cresting the hill right now. Oh, oh, oh. That tank over there is a KV-1. I can tell that from the very distinct turret shape. Uh, that will be difficult. KV-1s are well armored. And at this range I have no chance to take it out. Maybe the Stuka will manage a hit. No, it didn't drop. Maybe another Stuka will manage a hit. Oh, there's a lot of Soviet infantry as well, okay. Both from back there and from over there. And another tank, did you see the tree fall? I think another tank is pushing up. And there is another tank just sticking its turret over the hill. Okay, I have tanks incoming. Stukas, I need your help. Oh, oh nice. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know if that was a hit, but it looked close. Nah, it's still driving. So maybe the crew is a bit shaken up, but uh, nothing major. I need some good hits on the enemies. Come on, Stukas, do your thing. Because at this range, I, I just can't deal with that tank. I can, however, deal with these other two tanks because I think those are T-26s, the one that's getting... that's... that was strafed for a moment. Oh, look at that thing. Ah, it didn't drop anything. Let me do the following. I think I will use the ridge line that is separate... that is here on the battlefield as a separation between me and the enemies. So I will now do the following. I will tell my tanks to go over here while I bring my tank up here and I'll try to take out the smaller tanks. while they are still far away and only then later deal with... Ah, this thing is already looking at me. Okay, shots are being exchanged, but I'm focusing on this smaller tank back here for the moment. Uh, 800 meters. No, 800 is not enough. Uh, 1100. I think that might have been a hit. Keep shooting. I think one of my Panzer 3s got, just got smacked by a KV-1. Yeah, that was a hit on that tank. Okay. We have to be careful here because those KV-1s, they are really a piece of work. I will keep shooting at this thing until I think that it's taken out. Okay, 
Okay, I think it's taken out. Let's see what else we can find. There's one. 600 meters. Good hit. Let's stop the little things first. Then we'll take care of the big KV ones. They are bailing. Oh, hi! Load the pencil grenade 40. I have a good range to target here that I can use to... Come on. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, that's unfortunate. Then I have to do... I have to do with the... Panzer grenade 39. Just putting it into the side of the tank here. Maybe one into the turret. The KB-1 is a tough beast. I'm trying to hit the turret ring. That's a weak spot. But he's still shooting. Maybe the engine? The tracks, just making sure that the crew is as uncomfortable as possible. Let's try to drive us uh, view slot here. No, I can't penetrate that thing. I don't think I can penetrate. Oh, let's see. Keep shooting. Maybe I can at least throw off the track of the tank. Maybe a shot into the main weapon. Uh, I think they are bailing. Yes, they are. Oh, and the Stuka dropped the bomb. Okay, what else is there? What about that tank back there? I think that's alright. Is there anything else in the area approaching me? I have to make sure here. Okay, now I will order my two tanks to go in a flanking attack. Like so. And I apparently have an enemy tank somewhere just in front of me. So let's deal with it. Yes. What is that? That's another KV. Let's put it into the side of the turret. Come on, turn it, turn it, turn it. Give me the turret profile. Thank you very much. Oh yes, give me the tank profile. One into the engine. More. Just smacking it into the back of the turret here. Making sure that he's taken out, and then we'll try to keep the Soviet infantry down, I guess. Because they are advancing hard. Just hosing them down. Is the tank still dead? Yes, apparently it is. Any more tanks? Yes, indeed, there are more tanks coming. But small tanks, I should be able to deal with them. As long as they don't shoot back, of course. Good hit. Okay, this tank's crew bailed. Any 
any more tanks. No, just my Panzer III is advancing into the whole mess. Yes, my Panzer threes are going absolutely nuts on them. Okay, now come here. Come over here. Actually, there is apparently a tank back there. Somewhere. Okay, something was shooting just now. I'm trying to find the tank that's still reported. It's shooting at my Panzer III, I don't like that. Where are the shots coming from? There! This one. 800, 900. Ah, let's do 800. Oh, detonated. Nice. You are not getting into the positions, you are not escaping this. Stop running! Oh yeah, they actually passed through the positions. Can't have that. Mission complete. We did it. Oh wow. Again, what a mission. Wow. Let me... Let me just... Let me just make sure that... You've taken out everything. And then let's... Let's actually go ahead and... Uh, regroup in our defensive position here. Something's still shooting? What though? Is it my Panzer three back there punishing some... Remaining enemy infantry must be. Yeah, he must be shooting at infantry. That's fine. You can do that. No, there's actually a tank. One more enemy tank. Oh, how nice. Let's go. Let's get that thing. Yeah, it's coming towards me. I can actually wait for it. Let me switch to my gunner. Lower the gun sufficiently. At a distance of about 300 meters. There it is. Ah, nice good hit. Another nice good hit. So that turret should already be all kinds of messed up. Yes, give me your underbelly here. Oh. I'm almost out of ammunition. Not a good hit. But it seemed to have done the trick, so let's put one more into him. There we go. Smacked from both sides. I think he's taken out. Yeah, I think he's done. The crew is absolutely dead here. And my other tank is now advancing towards me. 
I think now we have won. And everybody in our tank seems to be okay. So let's open up the hatches. Ten thirty nine hundred. Okay, some poor infantry soldiers apparently that ran through the line. Don't care. There's nothing they can do. There comes my Panzer three. We held. We held off the enemy attack. This is amazing. Okay, let's have a look at my tank. My poor little tank here has fired 42 shots, about 600 rounds machine gun, scored 58 hits, destroyed 5 vehicles and killed 38 enemies. The vehicles that I destroyed were 3 T26s and 2 KV-1s. Very nice. Let's have a look at those. So Verba 1 and 3, Verba 1, there it is, uh, it's the one back here, okay, scored some nice hit at a range of 670 meters and huh, this is looking interesting, I think what happened here is this shell penetrated didn't immediately detonate, went deeper into the tank and then there it detonated, killing the driver, destroying the engine and damaging the ammunition. Nice, very nice. And then there was also Verba 3, that was also killed by me I think, yes. Ah, this one, that was shooting at my other tank. So yeah, it received a nice hit here, I think. Wow, at a range of almost 800 meters. Penetrated the tank here and touched off the ammunition, killing the driver and the commander, destroying the transmission, the turret rotating mechanism. And before that it also received some other hits, which did not do much damage apart from one that uh, killed the loader. Very nice, very nice indeed. Let's return to my tank. What else did I kill? I killed also Chestnut 1 and 2 and Oak 3. Let's first look at Oak 3. Oak 3 is the tank back here. Mm -hmm, nice. Scored a nice penetrating hit here. And I think I... yeah, I scored only one penetrating hit. It penetrated here and then it exploded inside the tank, killing basically loader, driver, the engine, the ammunition and the radio. The commander must have then decided that getting out of here was a really good idea. And the gunner I guess as well, yeah. Nice. Happy with that hit at a distance of 623 meters. Very nice. And then I think I kill Chestnut 1 and 2. Let's look at Chestnut 1. Let's look at these KV tanks here. Yeah, this is the one that was turning this side towards me. And as you can see, I absolutely punished that. The hits into the turret's back didn't do much. They did penetrate but didn't cause any significant damage. Received a lot of other hits, including grenades. Didn't do anything to it. This hit here was actually quite nice. I don't know if that was mine. Might have been, yeah, into the side of the turret, maybe. Killing the gunner and the loader. But then it received this, this really nice hit here. This is what took it out. This hit penetrated the tank, killing the driver, the commander, the machine gunner, um, rupturing the fuel tank and destroying the turret turning mechanism. So this is what took it out. And this here was a bonus, destroying the engine. Very nice. But that thing did manage to <laughs> kill a truck. Yeah, rest in peace little truck.
and the other KV1. You can see how many hits this one took, oh my god. These things are tough. These things are really, really tough. You see, during the early days of Operation Barbarossa, the Germans were quite surprised that the Soviets actually had tanks that were practically immune to their uh, three and a half centimeter tank guns, to their five centimeter anti-tank guns. And so something like this proved to be a quite considerable obstacle on the way to Moscow. Let's disable all the non-penetrating hits here. So there was one hit coming in here, taking out the track. Nice. But apart from that, what convinced this crew to bail? What happened here? I think, yes, there we go. There is the reason. One of the hits into the turret here destroyed the weapon. Or damaged the weapon. So this is the tank that uh, fired one more shot at me, but missed and hit the ground, and then the crew bailed. And I'm very happy that I managed to, to get that shot into the gun, damaging it, making it unusable. Otherwise I would have been probably dead. So to round this off, let's look at my other two tanks. Did they survive the battle? And in what condition are they now? This one? Oh, okay. This poor thing took a few devastating hits. So one hit by a 45mm gun into the side, destroying the turret rotation. And another hit by a 76mm gun, so I suppose by one of the KV-1s. Went right in here, killing the driver, killing the gunner, the loader and the machine gunner and damaging the radio. So the tank commander seems to be the last guy left in here. Um, I'm surprised that he didn't bail. Driver, gunner, loader, machine gunner, they're all done for. So the commander was doing everything from that point on. Um, no wonder that this tank didn't do much. Really no wonder. Oh, I disabled all the other oh my god this tank this poor thing got hit all over hits into the side hits into the back of the turret how the hell did they manage that okay so this tank needs uh, a new crew and some repairs then we have this panzer 3 here It received one hit into the headlights up here, didn't do any damage apparently. Other than that, looking fine. Yeah, it took one hit and it killed a T26. This one over here. So I say, nicely done. Good crew. Yeah, nice hit. Penetrating, smashing through this drive wheel here and apparently continuing on to uh, blow off the track. So, that was it for today's mission. We survived another day and we'll see what the next day will bring us. I think we can be sure that it won't be easy. I think we haven't seen the worst yet. But until then, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see each other next time. Goodbye.